Yo, 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 what's up, people? This is your boy P. Ross back in the building with another video. Happy New Year's to everybody around the world, you know what I mean, who's watching this video right now. And we are about to talk about a Jazz Fusion album by Prince entitled Expectation. Now, do you remember back in the day when Expectation was actually entitled in a Xenophobia? Yeah, uh, Xenophobia was scratched from the album and the album was renamed Expectation. Now there is a loop version of Xenophobia that was floating around on the MPG Music Club back in the day. Um, I'm not for sure if it's still around, it could be, but I know I've heard it. All right, Xenophobia was also named, um, a name for a celebration in which Prince did at Paisley Park. But let's talk about expectation. Oh, Xenophobia did end up on One Night Alone Live on this one, like track four or five. And it's a very funky track. I'm feeling it. I love it. It's actually the only track that I think off of the anthology that they did last year that should have been on there. They should have put that song on there. But anyway, let's get into the track listing. Yeah, but before we get into that, um, Expectations was subtitled New Directions in Music by Prince. All right, the moniker New Directions in Music um, comes from, I don't know if y'all remember or not, if you look at some of your older jazz albums made by like Herbie Hancock and Miles Davis, um, they had on their albums Directions in Music. So Prince is giving us new directions in music. It was also his 26th studio album. Um, and the track listing goes, Exaltation, Exconjugate, Exemplify, Expectation, Exotica, Exogenous, Expand, Exophere, and Expedition. Nine tracks. Um, this was also released on MPG Records. Um, in 2003, January 1st, if you woke up, you either got an email or you saw that you got a very special package. This was the package that you got. In 2004, Expectation was released through the MPG Music Club download store. Um, surprisingly, we didn't get official artwork for this until September 2015 when it was released on Tidal. Sessions for this album took place um, in the autumn of 2001 at Paisley Park with saxophone overdubs by Candy Dolfer taking place in December 2001, also at Paisley Park. Um, there were no singles from this album. Um, the musicians on this album was Prince, of course, on keys and uh, keyboards and guitar, John Blackwell on John Blackwell on drums, Rhonda Smith on bass guitar, Candy Dolfer on um, acoustic and electric saxophone, and Vanessa May, the world famous violinist, on the violin. All in all, this is a great album. For me, it's very, very relaxing. You know what I mean? Um, if you haven't heard it, I believe they put it on title recently, I think. But I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't know. But it's definitely worth a listen. It's about a 40-minute record. And um, check it out if you haven't heard this album because it's definitely a listener. And then also, there's always this thing with uh, this and news. This album and the album news, which was a fusion record, too. Um, I can never decide on which one I like better. I just know that they both are great records and they bring, bring pleasure to my ears and what I'm listening. So, you know people, check out Expectation. Definitely worth your time, you know. And you should be able to get it free. You know, I know it. I think, I do believe it's streaming on all streaming services. So yo, check it out. This your boy P. Ross and I'm out.